Good morning, Toddly. Oh, good morning, Michael. Am I seeable? You are seeable. Oh, hello. How was your sleep? It was all right. We uh, have our window right next to the street, so we hear we hear all the things. Yeah. Turns out I can ignore them pretty well. Yeah, I don't think I was woken up by anything outside last night. Or what, inside? Or inside. Okay. I wasn't woken up during my sleep as far as I can remember. Sorry. I think maybe, though, I did have a dream that I discovered that I was actually Superman. And I found that if I covered my mouth and hummed a certain way, it sounded exactly like Japanese violin instrument thing. <laughs> So that's what that noise was. Yeah. Oh, okay. That very soothing <laughs> music you woke up to was me humming in my sleep. I did actually wake up to, I think it was you, eating something crunchy. I got one of those naked chalupa things from Taco Bell last night. Huh. Oh, you got me some cinnamon twists. Those were pretty impressive. That's, that, that's what it was. So I remember sitting here and hearing this... <laughs> and I'm like, huh, okay. And I just uh, rolled over. What are we doing today? We're going to go visit some kind folks over at B&H here in about 20-ish minutes. B&H? Yeah, that's B&H photo. They have lots of toys there. They have uh, a ton of toys. They're adult toys. No. Whoa! <laughs> no. Here's B&H, the adult store. Oh, no. No, that's, no, no. We didn't, check out uh, we didn't check anything out. This is uh, a big thing. The amount of stuff in this store is pretty intense. Yeah. So many computers. Flight simulator. Wait, what? You're gonna fly a thing, Todd? I guess. So after this, Todd can fly us home on the airplane, right? Yes. Sure. <laughs> no, wait, I don't wanna do that. No, nope, okay, Todd. nope. You're not flying us home. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. All the lighting stuff. So this guy is decked out with just a bunch of hidden cameras. I assume there's one in the watch. There's some kind of thing in the keys. Maybe in the hat right here. Definitely in the glasses. Todd. Yeah. I want to live in this store. It has all of the toys that I want. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two. 3,600 bucks. Now I'm gonna switch over to something a little cheaper. Yeah. Testing one, two, three. This is about $149. That sounds much drier. It does sound, it doesn't sound as good, but it's not a bad sounding microphone. Yeah. But that's what we can do in this room. That's, uh, I mean, there's, there's no other place around where you can yeah. compare microphones. This is really cool. <laughs> I don't think she'll mind. Oh, I can see. She's not real. I better, I better hide that. <laughs> we finished our tour of B&H. We're hungry, so we're gonna get food. I'm planning to go back to the B&H store later to maybe actually buy stuff. I've had my eye on the Mavic drone. It's a very small drone that I could just fit in a backpack and take traveling with me. Because the Inspire 1, it's cool, but uh, it's difficult to travel with. Sounds like fun, pal. That's tons of fun, pal. We just passed a gentleman back there who was chanting, buy me beer. I don't have my ID. Buy me beer. I'm 42 years old. <laughs> Todd. Yes. Would you ever live in New York City? No. Why not? No. Just take a listen. Too loud? Yeah, I like my quiet. It is pretty loud. There's just too many people. I do feel like living here would be outside of my comfort zone, but to a certain extent, I like the idea of doing things that are outside of my comfort zone. I feel about living in New York City the same way that I feel about skydiving. I don't really want to go skydiving, but I want to have gone skydiving. I don't really want to live in New York City, but I want to have lived in New York City. Okay, fair enough. Well, well, well on, I don't know. I'll probably just keep living in Missoula for a while. I like Montana. This is more fast paced than Montana is for sure. Yep. We went back to the B&H store because I was thinking about buying a drone, but if I buy it here in New York, I have to pay New York sales tax. Whereas if I buy it in Montana, I don't. And that saves me like $100. A lot of money. So I'm not gonna do it today. Welcome to Times Square. It's so bright. How do you feel about it aside from being bright? That's a, that's a nice McDonald's M. Yeah? Yeah. The golden arch. Yeah, this is exciting. Oh! Hey! Oh! Oh! Would you be sad if someone proposed to you with 
M&Ms that said, will you marry me? Is no. that cute or not? Uh, I wouldn't, I don't know how to answer that question. I tweeted out asking for suggestions on where we should eat, especially for good burgers. And uh, Black Tap was suggested by multiple people. Black Tap? So we're walking to Black Tap. Black Tap. Black Tap. Black Tap. Look, Black Tap. Craft burgers and beer. Todd, there's a line to get into this place. Yeah? A line. We have to wait in line. Do you like lines? No. Oh. Well. Lines are no bueno. We have to wait until someone inside finishes dining and there's people inside just looking at their phones instead of eating and hurrying up. We made it. We made it through the line. Thank you. Whew. We've got all kinds of craft burgers here. A pizza burger, they have a vegan burger, and then crazy shakes. Sweet and salty peanut butter shake, strawberry shake, vanilla cookie shake, fruity pebbles shake, vanilla frosted rim with fruity pebbles topped with a fruity pebbles rice crispy treat, strawberry pop tart, nerds rope, whipped cream, and a cherry. So, what are you doing with your life? I'll do the Mexico City, please. And then I'm afraid I'm gonna have to try this Bam Bam shake. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to eat this thing. It's so big. Todd, there's a house in that truck. Should I go knock on the door? I don't know, what does it say? It's not really a house. What is it? It looks like just some film equipment. Well, it does say that there's a film shoot right here. Todd, would you like some pleasure for $13.90? What? Would you like some pleasure for $13.90? You know what? Here in the big city, it's a good deal. Todd. Yep. Caitlin. Mm -hmm. I have a very important decision to make. Should I let Kelsey take my stitches out? Kelsey or not? If she wants to. I'm supposed to have gotten them out yesterday. I could either have her take them out tomorrow night when we get home, or on Thursday I could go into the hospital or a clinic or something. Actually though, I found that using the stitches to scratch other parts of my body feels nice. I have these stitches in my fingers, in my fingers. Real quick before I go to bed, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who contributed to that birthday video that got uploaded on the um, Where We're Hanging Right Now YouTube channel. It gave me lots of feels. I do feel a little bit weird about promoting something that uh, is so obviously complimentary of myself, so I don't plan on putting a link to it anywhere, but I'm sure if you're interested in finding out where that is, uh, you can do that. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.